Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you guys are. Um, we're going to start in a couple of minutes, so please, you know, find a virtual seat. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you guys are, um, and welcome to the awards uh, ceremony. Uh, please, we want to know what do you feel about this virtual event and how can we improve uh, the overall plans that we prepare for you. So please do go and fill the survey we have prepared for you, and we would like to know feedback. Uh, and we will start introducing the awards of the sessions. So I'm going to hand it over to Christophe. Hello and welcome to the award session of Ubicomp is week 2020. My name is Christoph van Laarhoven, and it is a pleasure and a privilege to chair the following slots, in which we will honor members of our community, both the new ones and the not so new ones. And we will start with an award that has been given for a few years now, the Ubicom Gaetano Borriello Outstanding Student Award. And this award will be presented by the head of the award committee, Cecilia Mascolo. Hello everyone, I'm Cecilia Masco from the University of Cambridge. I'm here to um, announce the winners of the Gaetano Borriello Outstanding Student Award. So um, I was chairing this committee and we received 14 applications and they were all really, really good. And so we selected a subset of the steering committee of Ubicom including Tantim, Tantim Chowdhury, Rob Hall, Yonki Lee, and Koji Atani, as well as myself, to review these applications and um, select a subset of these for award. The committee decided to award um, this prize to three finalist students and one winner. And I will proceed to announce the finalists first and then the winner. So in alphabetical order, the first finalist is Wu Yok Choi from Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, KAIST, for his work on designing interactive technologies to encourage physical activities for health behavior promotion. And I physically have his award here. And I'm very, very pleased to give him this award.
but thank you for nominating me as one of finalists for this award. Honestly, there are many other students who have contribution to become better than me, so I'm not sure that I deserve to attain such a great honor. Anyway, there are many people that I want to express my gratitude. First of all, my advisor is Lee. All of my research achievements are genuinely a tribute to his great eye, great guide. So without him, I even wouldn't go to great school. And my, fam and my family, it's been a long time since I've seen my family, so about two years. So my mom was worried me when I decided to go to great school instead of earning money. And maybe still she is worried. Next year, I may promise my mom to obtain a PhD and find a good position. And finally, I will have members. They have given great support to me as a friend and colleagues. Thank you again. Pleasure. The second finalist is Bashima Islam from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill for her work on scheduling tasks on intermittently powered time-aware intelligence systems. And I also have her award here, and I'm very pleased to give it to her. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, I'm Asim Aslam. I'm a final year PhD student at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. I work on timely execution of high computation tasks like deep neural network in intermittently powered systems, which I wish to be useful in billions of IoT devices around us. And it's an honor to give this award for my contribution, and I'm hopeful that my, I will be continuing doing good work in the rest of my PhD and in my future career. Thank you very much. Thank you. The third award winner is Vikram Iyer from the University of Washington for his work on novel wireless bio-integrative and bio-inspired ubiquitous systems. This is the award. And thank you, Vikram, for the application and uh, congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm honored to accept this award in recognizing my work, which integrates computing and sensing with biology. And that includes wireless sensors on things like live bees, streaming cameras on live beetles, and bio-inspired robots. And of course, thanks to everyone at UW that I've worked with on these projects and to my friends and family for all their support. The winner of the Gaetano Borriello Outstanding Student Award this year is Hao Jian Chin from Carnegie Mellon University for his work towards a ubiquitously connected world with privacy protection. Well done, Hao Jian. This is your award. You should be proud of it. And uh, we're very, very pleased that, to have you in this community. Thank you for applying. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Mascolo and uh, the award committee. I'm honored to be receiving this Gaetano Borrio Outstanding Student Award. Winning this award would not be possible without the help I have received from my mentors, collaborators, and friends. Ubiquitous computing offers tremendous potential in improving people's life. However, this vision is possible only if we find new ways to protect people's privacy in a ubiquitously connected world. I will continue to continue my research in you become privacy, creating a world which is not only more efficient, but also more privacy friendly that everyone wants to live in. Next up are two awards that draw from the rich history of the International Symposium on Wearable Computers, or ISWIC, which has been held annually since 1997. And first, announcing the winner of the ISWIC 20-Year Impact Awards is Thad Starner from Georgia Tech in the United States. I'm Thad Starner. In 2000, ISWIC was four years old, and I was hosting as general chair in Atlanta. The digital camera phone was just becoming popular, and GPS, the global positioning system, 
had just turned off selective availability, which meant that it actually went from 100 meters to 10 meters. Interactive geolocated imagery was becoming feasible at last. What amazing things might we do with this technology? Why play augmented reality quake, of course. While I'm only showing the more sedate scenes from the game, it is useful to see what Bruce Thomas and his team created more than 15 years before Pokemon Go would become commonplace on smartphones. The paper has almost 500 citations and is still a fun project. I am happy to present Bruce and his team the Iswick 20 Year Impact Award. Thank you very much. Very honored to receive this award, myself and the other authors of this paper. Ben Close, John Donahue, John Squires, Phil Devani, Michael Morris, and Wayne Bukowski. I've had a long history with the ISWIC community. I've been the chair of this conference for four times, and I've published 19 papers in this conference. The last one was in 2015, and I hope to join the conference again. A little aside about this paper, uh, the videos were up on the university website. Uh, we got slashed off, and the videos crashed the web server for the university. We were quite proud of that. So once again, thank you very much, and we're very honored to be here. Hello. Now live from Tokyo, we bring you the 10-year impact award for Eastwick, the symposium on wearable computers. My name is Kai Kunze from Keio University, and I'm happy to present you this award. As always, for the 10-year impact award, we select papers that either have the highest citation count or also created impact either in the community or in industry. Uh, this year, the decision was actually quite easy because the paper had, on the one hand, the highest citation count, however, also the strongest impact in the community and in industry because it dealt with a background service for mobile phones that can do activity recognition. And at the time, the researchers had to implement this on an open source, a Debian based, so Linux based mobile phone because uh, neither Android nor uh, the iPhone could do that at the time. You know, background processes were a big problem. So after they implemented this, they were able to have a service based recognition architecture in the background that could also use some personalized labels from users just in situ to train the system. And nowadays we have that all implemented on our smartphones. These uh, even in silicon right now. So without further ado, the best paper 10 year impact award goes to Martin Bechtold, Matthias Bude, David Gordon, Hedda R. Schmidtke and Michael Beigel for ActiveSurf, Activity Recognition Service for Mobile Phones. Congratulations! Here is the certificate and I'm handing it over to the winners now. I'm so honored. The paper was about the novel machine learning approach for recognizing human activity and introduces concepts that we know now under the name of edge cloud AI and continuous learning. But Matthias can say much more about it. Thank you. I'm very honored. Thank you. Uh, but I think Doubt is better equipped to say something about the paper. Thank you. Oh yeah. Thank you so much. This really is an incredible honor. But I think we need to hear from Hedda about this. Thanks a lot for me too. Hey guys, what gives? I'm the first author. At least give me some champagne.
Thank you, everyone. And once again, congratulations to all winners. Now, for the next announcement of Ubicomp is Week 2020's award session, please join me in welcoming Antonio Kruger from the DFKI in Saarbrücken, Germany. Welcome to the presentation of the Inwood Distinguished Paper Awards of Volume 3. My name is Antonio Kruger and I'm very glad to be able to present to you the awards on behalf of the uh, award committee consisting of Judy Kay and myself as chairs. Uh, we had help of, uh, from Silvia Santini, um, uh, the Inwood Editor-in-Chief, and uh, special thanks go out to Donald DeGarn, uh, DFKI Saarbrücken, who helped us with many technical and administrational details. As you might know, the uh, awards uh, are assigned every year to 3 to 4 percent of the papers published by Invert, usually in the previous volume, so in the previous year, and they are assigned to outstanding contributions. Uh, in all dimensions that you can imagine that are relevant actually to our community and to scientific outcomes. So novelty, completeness, maturity, pedag pedagogical and theoretical or practical value. And of course, um, papers and articles that uh, address specific characteristics that we consider important and exemplary for our community. This year, we had a very similar process to the previous years. Um, out of the 161 papers published in Volume 3, in the four issues, uh, we had a first round of reviewing. Um, in this first round of reviewing, papers were assigned to uh, reviewers. Um, I will come to that in a second, where you can see the committee. Um, out of these 161 papers, 39 were nominated for the second round. In the second round, we had an additional assignment of reviewers, so that each paper had at least uh, uh, two uh, uh, and uh, or three reviews. Out of these 39, then 21 papers emerged that had, in the end, three yeses. So uh, out of these three reviewers, three yeses, so promoted to the next round. And, and, this, uh, 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 and then we had a, a lengthy discussion phase and out of these 21 papers, six papers emerged um, that are our winners this year uh, and have been selected for the awards. This is, uh, relates to an um, acceptance rate of 3.7%. And is within, well within the margins that ACM actually uh, has foreseen for um, uh, these kind of awards. Uh, the selection committee uh, consisted of a, um, a list of uh, renowned experts of the field. I won't read them now to you here, uh, you can, um, but they're here for reference. I have to say this is a um, kind of uh, um, tedious and labor intensive process. I'm very grateful that we could convince these colleagues to help us to um, select the awards. And, um, uh, and overall, the process took a couple of months. We started in uh, April and it ended just uh, now in August. And now to the important part, um, the winners. And the winners are the first distinguished paper award uh, of Inwood Volume 3 uh, goes to two telltale perspectives of PTSD, neurobiological abnormalities and Bayesian regulatory network of the underlying disorder in a refugee context, has been published in uh, September 2019. And uh, the important part of this paper is that it is fascinating work that uses a very simple EEG device to detect new neurobiological markers which allows extensive data collection and analysis in the field. Congratulations! Um, uh, the contact author is Farhana Shahid and uh, uh, with colleagues uh, from Bangladesh University and the University of Ro uh, Rochester in the United States. And we have also participation from the Regan Street Center for Healthcare Engineering in the United States. The second award goes to Cormorant, ubiquitous risk-aware multimodal biometric authentication across mobile devices. 
Um, this paper has been published also in September 2019. Uh, it uses a very unique data-driven simulation approach to evaluate the proposed security systems, uh, a clear novel methodological contribution that has the potential to generalize to other domains. So congr congratulations to the author. Uh, the contact author is Daniel Hinze from uh, Institute for Networks and Security, Johannes Kepler University in Linz in Austria, with contributions from authors from uh, uh, the FHDV, University of Applied Science, Paderborn, Germany, Alto University in Finland, uh, um, and, uh, uh, and other colleagues from the uh, aforementioned uh, institutions. Mm. The next paper award goes to Microstress uh, Stress EMA, a passive sensing framework for detecting in the wild stress in pregnant mothers. Um, this is an exemplary article that uses ecological momentary assessments to measure perceived stress in the field and provides a strong method to gain ground truth data in the field. It has many applications area, areas and the reviewers were, were very impressed uh, by, by this paper. Um, the contact author is Zachariah D. King from Northwestern University and uh, um, the contributions came from several other authors from the same institution. The next award goes to How Does a Nation Walk? Interpreting Step Count Activity Patterns in an Incentivized Citywide Health Intervention. This is a high quality paper which shows in an exemplary way how to analyze large scale data sets of behavioral data. In this case, step counts of over 140,000 individuals. It makes use of excel excellent visualizations and is exemplary in uh, this respect. Uh, the contact author is Brian Y. Lim from the Department of Computer Science and National Uver University of Singapore with contributions from co-authors from the same institution and from the University of Sydney in Australia. Um, the next uh, uh, DPA award goes to Perils of Zero Interaction Security in the Internet of Things. Um, this is an uh, article that has been published in March last year. Uh, it's an excellent paper that replicates and compares prior work in zero interaction security uh, following a thorough open data and open source approach. Uh, congratulations to the author. The um, contact author is Mikhail Fomichev from the Secure Mobile Networking Lab at TU Darmstadt in Germany uh, with contributions uh, from authors from the same institution. And uh, the final DPA award for this year for Volume 3 goes to Alvus, a reconfigurable 2D wireless charging system. Uh, this is a paper that has been published in June 2019. And it's a paper that presents a very innovative multi-hop approach for 2D wireless charging. The paper presents a wealth of creative technical details, which are also excellently described. And uh, the committee was very impressed by this. Congratulations again to the authors and congratulations to all authors of uh, the Distinguished Paper Award this year. Um, the certificates will be mailed. Uh, so um, please, uh, uh, if you have not done so, send me a shipping address. And with that, I would like to thank you. And I very much hope that we will see us next year in person after we've uh, overcome uh, the uh, crisis situation. Thank you very much. Okay, and now we start with uh, the next part of the awards ceremony, which will start off with an announcement by our ISWIC uh, technical program chairs, uh, Jen Healy and Thomas Plotz. Hello, everybody. Um, today it is our pleasure to announce uh, the best wearable papers from the conference. Thomas? We'll, we'll be giving two awards. One is for the best long wearable paper in IMWUT. And this is a, a paper that has been identified by having a wearable, the word wearable in the abstract from the June 2019, uh, March 2020, June 2020, and September 2020 issues.
Then we'll follow that with the best Iswick uh, note paper, which Thomas will announce. Which I would. So I'm going to start off and say uh, the best wearables long paper uh, award goes to RFID Tattoo, a wireless platform for speech recognition. And this is awarded to Jingzheng Wang, uh, Chengfen Pang, Hao Zhang Jin, Vaibhav Singh, Yash Jain, Jason Hong, Carmel Majihidi, and Swaran Kumar. Um, most of them are for, from CMU, uh, and Yash Jain is also additionally from the Indian Institute of Technology in Bombay. Now, choosing this paper was quite a difficult task because you can't rely on citations with only one year out in the field. So what we did is we took all the papers uh, from each um, issue, and then we decided which was the best paper from each issue in, in a subcommittee uh, of wearables experts. And then we voted finally on the best of the four issues. And there was a, a huge amount of support for this paper. We found it uh, to be the best of wearables. It was an innovative device and it had a fantastic application, which was uh, helping uh, people to understand uh, speech. So congratulations, this is a fantastic paper. Uh, I also actually uh, got to attend the presentation, which I also thought was fantastic with the video. So uh, congratulations to you all. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Congratulations for me as well. Um, for the uh, Iswick notes, um, as, you, as you may recall, uh, this year was the first time we had uh, the notes and briefs uh, in, a, in a separate committee. We have the long papers, long Iswick papers uh, now published in Inwood, the long wearables papers in Inwood. Um, for the notes, um, we had formed a committee of uh, wearable experts um, who uh, went through uh, all the submissions that we have received for the conference. Um, and we, we looked at the scores from the reviewers. We looked at the reviews again, and we had a heated discussion about it. Uh, and in the end, we couldn't make up our mind who would be the clear winner. And we ended up with a tie. And we thought like it's on our discretion. So we will award two awards this year. We can move on to the next, paper, uh, next page, please. So we have uh, two outstanding papers this year. The first one um, goes, uh, the uh, first paper is called Flactile 3D, uh, Flactile, sorry, 3D printable soft actuators for wearable computing. Uh, it's written by a group of authors from the uh, Karlsruhe uh, uh, Institute of Technology in Germany. Uh, first order is Lee Kun Fang. Uh, then we have Tobias Rediger, um, Hong Yu Sun, Norbert Willenbacher and Michael Beiger. Um, the committee uh, thought that this paper represented the, uh, the best breakthrough sensing uh, platform that we, uh, that we have seen so far. Um, and we uh, expect that this paper will have great impact and will support multiple new wearable applications in the future. So in a sense, it's a prototypical uh, wearables paper, prototypical ISWIC paper, and we're really happy to have it in the program. Congratulations to the authors. The second paper, um, represents um, in our mind, in, in the mind of the, of the community, the best example of a well-tested platform, uh, a well-tested population-specific wearable application. Uh, the title of the paper is a Design and Evaluation of a Wearable Assistive Technology for Amyonopic Stroke Patients. And the collective of author is from um, uh, California State University in uh, Los Angeles, and, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, and UCLA, Navid Amini, um, Jung, uh, Jung is Lim, Farnas Mohamani, Clinton Thoros, Benjamin Braun, uh, Hassan uh, Kasimzadeh, uh, Melis Chan, and uh, Kroos Nuri uh, Madavi. Um, again, congratulations to the authors. I'm very happy to have not just one best paper, but two. Uh, that's what ISWIC is. Um, and we look forward to more uh, contributions from, from all the authors in there. Congratulations. Hello. So it is my pleasure that, to introduce the uh, Best present, Presentation Award uh, nominees and also the winners. Um, as you know, this is the first time we do this um, conference virtually and um, to encourage the, the effort that has been put into 
uh, preparing the talk videos, the six minutes talk videos, uh, you know, preparing the teaser videos. We have now, um, uh, uh, we have actually organized two types of awards that was actually announced in the conference opening. And the first one that we uh, are going to announce is the uh, best presentation award um, uh, audience nominee. So the audience nominee uh, was voted uh, by all of you, uh, uh, the ones that you like the most from each session. So let's see um, the next slide, please. So based on your votes, uh, these are the uh, audience award uh, nominees from each session. We have 15 sessions um, and um, a lot of them uh, have uh, really good uh, votes, but there's a tiebreaker. So let's see who, who actually got the top position. And that is ba battery free Game Boy uh, 2A. And also uh, and in, in, that is in the session um, IoT and um, sorry, it's in a session of uh, uh, low energy, uh, low energy uh, and energy harvesting. And uh, the, the other uh, nomin nominees next sense um, from health and behavior. And to be able to make this de decision, uh, we just check one thing. Uh, we look at the teaser video and um, apparently the one that actually has the highest view and it's becoming viral is next slide. There you go, battery free Game Boy. <laughs> So um, you, you got the audience award, so congratulations, uh, Jasper De Winkle, Vito Kordbeck, jo Josiah Hester, and Shemlaw, sorry, I can't pronounce your name, Shemslaw uh, Pelzek, um, and uh, they are from Delft University of Technology. So congratulations, we will send you the certificate. Um, and please tune in to the Gadget Show because they will actually show uh, the, these battery free Game Boy live. So don't miss that. Um, it's, it's the one straight after this. Now let's go next. Now, uh, the session chair or the, a senior member of the team nominate the best paper uh, in each session based on the amount of discussion generated in each uh, session. And also uh, the, the quality of the video, uh, the talk video that was presented. Um, so these are actually the uh, nominees of the best presentation by the senior members, uh, mainly the session, session chairs or someone else in uh, the general chair or uh, program, program chairs. So um, if you want to see what will make a really good uh, talk video for, uh, for you become next year, for example, check this out because uh, there are good examples of what makes really good talk videos. Now, uh, based on this, we, we actually had a, a quick discussion uh, and nominated, uh, we, we made some decisions about what would make a really good award, uh, what would make a really good award uh, recipient. Um, some of them include the clarity of the presentation um, the clarity of uh, the author presenting the problem, motivating the problem, and also um, presenting the solution. And a bonus will be if they actually could, uh, could make this uh, really reproducible. So uh, the method is reproducible either by making it open source or maybe sh sharing the code somewhere. Now, what we've made a decision and the winner of the best presentation judges award is Intermittent learning. So on-device machine learning on intermittently powered system. Uh, so congratulations, Silke Lee, Bashima Islam, Yubolwu, and Sariar Nirjon. And I, I don't think it's a coincidence it's, uh, that actually the two awards actually come from the same session. So um, unfortunately, I missed that session, so I have to watch them again. Um, but congratulations again, the author. We will send you the certificate. Uh, and please watch this uh, talk again. They are, they are available uh, in WUVA. All right, thank you very much for, for Salim, one of the program chairs of UBICOM this year. 
Now, next up is the Best Poster and Demo Awards, and it will be presented by Ed Wang and Yasuke Shino. Thank you. So, um, the poster and demo session was pretty awesome. Uh, the, in Gather Town or Ubicom Town, it was, uh, when I walked in, I was pretty blown away. So, lots of people attended. Um, and so, we had online voting. And so, it's going to be uh, the award is given to the poster or demo that had the m most votes um, through the WOVA app. And so, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get the next slide. The best poster award uh, is given to uh, Shibo Zhang, uh, uh, Cho Yang Shu, uh, Sugata Sen, and Nabil Al Sharafa for their work called uh, Vibro Scale Turning Your Smartphone into a, a Weighing Scale. Uh, and so this work was, um, I think, almost triple the votes um, by the next, uh, the runner up. So they were a clear winner. And so instead of me trying to butcher their work, we are actually going to show you what you missed if you didn't go to the poster. So next slide. Weight skills are ubiquitous and needed for many reasons in life. Without a weight skill in home, you might find it hard to follow food recipe and get the correct weight of the food ingredient. However, this skill is too large for a pocket if you need to bring it outside, like you see in a store and shop. What if your smartphone can be used as a weight skill anytime, anywhere? First, let the phone start vibrating and record a similar signal. Next, put the object on the phone and calculate the change in the signal. We process the accelerator signal, joining zero load stage and waste load stage, and obtain zero load intensity and waste load intensity. The difference of these two is object intensity. Then we use a regression model to predict the weight of the object. We use a kitchen scale to get the ground truth weight of the potato, which is 199 grams. The prediction error is about 13 grams. In the future, we can estimate not only weight but also weight change over time to understand the speed of eating. Right, congratulations to the VibroScale team. All right, thank you very much, Edwin. Uh, so last up is a series of awards that are now being presented by my wonderful uh, co-chairs, co-general chairs, Monica Tentori and Adir Weibo. So we had uh, several social activities that we conducted in Gather. One of those activities was Chasing the Rabbit, where we announced some of researchers that were acting as a rabbit and they were hopping around Ubicom Town in different areas, particularly in the main foyer and also on the terrace and on the beach. And uh, towners had to look for him and had a conversation, a video chat call and take a photograph of their call and we uh, decided who won the rabbit, the one who collected the call in the shortest time. Um, so I'm happy to say that the one who uh, clocked the rabbit uh, was San Hirano from, from Abramics user. So congratulations, San. Um, and the other activities that work as an ice icebreakers 
in Yubicom town where paparazzi and placed out of the back where we asked as well uh, towners to collect places by taking photographs with at least five participants uh, in that particular place or take, taking photographs with those participants hanging out on those particular places. Again, this activity happened also on, in the terrace and in the main foyer and the rooms adjacent and in the hallway. And the winner of these two icebreakers is Eldi Lazaro from GC Davis. So congratulations, Eldi. Congratulations, and muchas felicidades. So well, I'm going to now announce the other social engagement awards. Uh, if you were not in Gather Town, you still had the opportunity to engage uh, with us in a social uh, in, in, in a social way. And uh, if you were on Hoova, we uh, Hoover allows uh, and basically allowed us to count all the interaction that you had. So we had two awards. Uh, first of all, the most active members of our community. And um, you see on the left, uh, you know, the points that have been uh, gathered. And these are people who posted a lot of messages, participated in a lot of discussions, uh, voted, uh, and, uh, you know, looked at papers, looked at videos, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so it's my pleasure uh, to say that uh, Amna Batul, uh, he is uh, uh, the winner uh, from, from Deakin University. He's the, he's the winner of the leaderboard. Uh, by quite a lot. So congrats, congratulations, Anna. Uh, we also asked uh, you to post your photos on Hoova, and we have quite a lot of interesting photos there. Uh, and, uh, you know, the one, one of the ones that actually won, it's interesting, it also related to Gather Town. So this is an activity that happened in Gather Town. And uh, I'm happy to announce that Arturo Morales from uh, It's On in Mexico got most of the likes, that means most of the votes, and he's the winner of the photo contest. So congratulations to Arturo and to Amna, uh, and thanks for engaging uh, with us. And now I'm passing that back to Christoph, uh, who will walk us through what's happening next. Thank you very much, Nadir. So what is happening next in less than an hour, about uh, 45 minutes, is the Is We Gadget Show. Uh, for those of you who don't know it yet, it's a basically a spontaneous event where people tend to just show up and present to us their gadgets. This could be a gadget they just bought, that they're very enthusiastic about, or that they just made, you know, so one of a, of a few papers will probably show and demonstrate their gadget there. And we're going to do this by merging the two virtual reality realms that we have here in this conference. So if you have a gadget, please go to the flag room in Ubicom Town and be ready to show your gadget there um, for Tom Martin, who is going to moderate this event. And this will be streamed for all the others who don't have a gadget but wish to enjoy the show into Hoova or on Zoom. So we hope to see you there at the next event in about 45 minutes. So everybody, thank you again for attending. Very much congratulations to every award. So you've been awesome. And uh, please go to Gather Town, to You Become Town, and uh, you know, use these last few uh, moments to interact uh, and say hi and talk with your friends. Thank you very much, and enjoy the last day of the conference. Adios. <laughs>